All right. Um, my name is uh, Professor Jong Won Kim uh, at Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering uh, of Seoul National University. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, projection views for better drawing, uh, which is uh, uh, that uh, uh, it, it is uh, th uh, as I told you uh, at last lecture. Uh, just uh, just observe the perfect uh, projection rule does not necessarily make a perfect uh, part drawing. So last lecture. I talk about uh, section views uh, to make a clear part drawing uh, as uh, as we uh, as as we didn't use any hidden line uh, by using section views, right? That is also uh, that. So I dealt with the shape 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 description for better drawings. And this lecture is some something like a continuation of that uh, concept. That uh, now this lecture uh, we are going to use uh, several uh, projection views, uh, which is very practical and in uh, in, in, in in some sense. So uh, I think. Um, yeah, so this lecture you you also understand uh, you you can understand that. Observing perfect projection rules does not necessarily make a, a, a best part drawing. So, some of example is half view. Uh, half view is applied to only symmetric parts, and it is used to save time, efforts, and paper space, because uh, as you see in this figure, since the part is symmetric. Uh, referring to the center line, so uh, this is this is a front view. This is front view and uh, right side view and uh, left side view and right side view. And you see, only the half of uh, half of the perfect uh, projection uh, views are uh, drawn here. So, and and and. Uh, this uh, 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 double line uh, here and here is we call it symmetric line. So at both ends of the center line, so it, it indicates that it is symmetric. So if you see this symbol, then you have to imagine that the, the other half is here. Okay, all right, all right. And, and uh, the front view it is a section view, sectional view. So yeah, the the uh, cutting plane is here. So you see, please remind the last lecture. So direction A. So so from uh, center line, the above uh, section view is from here. Okay, and uh, and section line is here. Cutting cutting plane is here. So so. This part is uh, aligned to uh, this line, and then uh, uh, the view. This view is from uh, this direction. Okay, so this is very nice uh, example of a sectional view. And right side, since it has symmetric line, so the other half, the, the other same, the other half is here. Okay, you understand that? All right. Uh, and if you draw the features slightly over the center line here, over the center line, then you can skip the uh, symmetric lines. Anyway, the symmetric lines, uh, the more the more important uh, thing is that looking at looking at this uh, two view drawing, two view two view drawing. What I'm asking is that you can understand, you can you, you can generate a, a pictorial, three D three D shape of this part in your brain. That's what I'm asking. Okay, that's very important. 
once you, you once you catch the 3, 3D shape in your brain, after looking at uh, this uh, two view drawings, then it means that you can read the part drawing. Okay, so I'm asking, what's what's your three D shape in your bread in your head? All right. Okay, uh, please make a pause for this uh, movie clip and please practice to generate a pictorial drawing based on this part drawing. Then. Uh, then I, I'm going to the blackboard and to uh, show you uh, uh, the 3D, 3D shape. All right? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, I, I, I think that you already have your answer, answer uh, in your hand. Practice is very important. Just do not never try to learn um, this lecture by using I only, all right? You need a practice. It is like a, a, to learn language, okay? All right. Okay, um, and the, the shape is that looking at it and basically from the front of you, it has the uh, structure like this, all right? Okay. So, so maybe, um, anyway, the first step for pictorial drawing is to generate, generate a box which can enclose, which can include, enclose uh, the 3D shape, right? So box. The box is here and uh, All right, and uh, and it has a, the, the the basic uh, structure is something like uh, this. Okay, so The basic structure is uh, something like this, right? And it has uh, it has some uh, some structure uh, below this, so below this, and it has the structure below this. So it has some some parts. Some parts are. Uh, under this, okay, something like this, right? This is a box which it can include inc enclose uh, this three D shape here. Okay, all right. Then, then uh, what about this uh, this part? It has the uh, some two holes, symmetry. Okay, something like uh, the ob uh, object shown in the movie E. T. Right, so uh, the 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 shape is uh, something like this, right? Okay, and it has the two holes. It has two holes, and and, uh, and looking uh, closely, you will understand that uh, something like uh, this part is added uh, above uh, uh, the cylinder. Okay. Above the cylinder. Okay. Right. And and uh, so uh, this part is uh, it has some uh, thickness, so shape is like this, and it goes like this, and and whole structure is going to here and to here. Okay, All right, and it has like this. And 
same part is is here. So okay, it's a real exaggerated. Okay, so same same faces like this. I mean, it's around it, around it here. Uh, same faces like this. Okay, All right. So, okay, and inside there is uh, the through holes. And then, uh, and in the below, uh, below this structure, there is uh, something like a triangle, triangular shape. Is is a, is here. So maybe it has some uh, through holes. Okay, and also uh, actually it has some uh, ribs. The portals are going from here, so I cannot. Uh, but it is uh, behind the this plate, so you cannot see. But uh, the whole shape is uh, whole shape is uh, looks like this. Okay. So if you if if you this three D shape, okay, all right, this three D. This 3D shape is in your head, then it means that you can read the part drawing, which is uh, drawn on the paper. Okay. Okay. Um, so um, I think that uh, you can uh, you can generate uh, the proper 3D shape uh, based on this uh, part drawing. All right. So this is a symmetric symmetry. So we call it half half view. And also, uh, uh, let's assume that uh, this is a 3D shape. Uh, you're going to make a multi-view drawing uh, of to to generate proper part drawing. So, so for example, the, this is a front view and a left side view and right side view. Yeah, of course, the left left side view. It is uh, projected from this direction, so you see the uh, this is outline, uh, 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 and and uh, also the feature is behind this uh, this plate. So maybe you may try to use hidden lines to uh, to uh, generate uh, these features. Okay, right, and also. The right side view it is projected from this direction, so this this feature is uh, drawn, and also this these features are uh, viewing over over this plate, so you may uh, you may put uh, that shape in your drawing. Yeah, it it it, it, it observe perfect uh, projection rules, but this is not clear. Look, comparing to the below uh, multi-view drawing, comparing to you know, with this uh, with this multi-view drawing, it's very very enough to generate 3D uh, part here. So, so this is a uh, partial view, a, a projection view, where only the most important and informative portion is drawn. Okay, so this is not. This part is not necessary. Okay. Also, uh, this part view, uh, this is not necessary. Okay. Therefore, the features uh, beyond that portion are not drawn. This this view is very very clear part drawing. So partial view is very uh, also very important. 
Yeah, there are many partial view examples. <clears throat> so uh, this belt, this is front view, and this is this is a top view. Of course, top view, the hidden line must be added. It should be a perfect uh, uh, projection view. Okay. This was the example. This was last homework. Homework, the sectional view. Uh, there was the same cases. So front view and top view should be perfect, including every hidden line. And right side view, this view, uh, the features below uh, this circle is uh, not drawn. Not, okay? only, only the views of this area, views of this area is drawn here. This is a very uh, nice uh, partial view. <clears throat> this was the example. This example was uh, was seen in last lecture in sectional view and uh, the real real shape. Real shape is aligned to this line. This is aligned, so this is a real shape, true shape, and this is uh, moved in parallel. So this is a nice front view, and, and this is a partial view. Okay. The the features below this circle here is not drawn, not made. Okay. And also, <clears throat> if uh, this is a partial view, actually this will, this has to be located in this uh, this is space. But if uh, there is a no no enough space in the paper drawing paper, then the sh the this partial view can be moved in parallel to any place in the paper, and 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 but the uh, direction and symbol has to be added. Very nice technique, and this is the same technique. So direction x. So maybe uh, this partial view should be here, but if there is no enough space in the paper, it can move in parallel to the any place in the paper. A nice partial view. Okay, all right. And <clears throat> and this is this is the local view is uh, a concept narrow narrow concept of the partial view. So local view is the shapes of whole and group group are drawn just beside its location as follows. So just beside the location. Okay, the the shape. This, the shape of this area here, the shape of this area here, and the shape of this one is here. Is a key group, key group, key, key. As I as I say, the key. Uh, I explained it uh, it before in last lecture. What's the function of the key, which is a very important element? Key. Yeah, in the motor shaft. There is a key groove, groove like this, and the key key is a <clears throat> is a, a small uh, rectangular box, <clears throat> a piece piece of metal. So the uh, half of the key is uh, immersed into this uh, key groove. Okay, the other half is uh, seen from the outside, and 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 then uh, the pulley. Has the key group inside, and it is uh, it is combined onto the motor shaft. Then, if if the motor shaft is spinning, then the spinning motion is uh, uh, transferred to the pulley by by the key by the key element. No friction uh, dependable. Okay, the key is. Positively connecting the spinning motion of the motor shaft into the pulley. So this is a key group. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, but uh, but I think that if you are the very sensitive uh, to the po uh, projection rules, then someone indicate that it is it is not according to the perfect projection. Right. Yeah. Of course. This part. This part has to be a little offset to the left. 
this part. This one, how about this? This, the, this line has to be go a little below. How about this, uh, this line? This line has to be a little uh, curved, okay? Like this, here, okay? Right? Right. Right. But, but even if it does not satisfy the projection rules, the A, the part area A rules, it is the best drawing in, in this case. It, so, because true projection is ignored in the interest of simple, uh, simplicity and clearness. So, all important inter intersections are simplified. So, comparing to the size of the part, uh, this portion is very smaller. So, so if you if you if you satisfy, if you obey, if you observe the perfect projection rule, then mis sometimes it's it's misleading. Okay. So uh, it, it's a very I ironical uh, story, but anyway, so for the interest of simplicity and clearness, uh, you may, you have to draw uh, the, you may finish the part drawing like this, okay? So ignore the exact projection rules, okay? All right? To show the, tr the true line of intersection in each case, in each case would add little to the value of drawing, okay? To show the true line of intersection, in each case, would add little, add little value. Okay, so, so please, uh, uh, please uh, note uh, these uh, uh, simplification. Okay, all right. Another example of simplification, comparing to this and this, this is better, better and better. This and this, this is better. Okay, this and this, better, better, okay? Do not try to observe projection rules as perfectly in this case, okay? Just to see the better drawings, better examples, then you may enhance your skill of uh, uh, generate uh, better drawings. Okay, if this is another aligned view, okay? Parts that have arms, ribs, or lugs at an, at an uh, angle are not shown, are shown aligned or straight, straightened out in one view. So that true shape and position can be shown. So this is uh, the clutch, clutch, okay? Maybe it is not a uh, satisfied perfect projection, right? Yeah, this is a key, key group group, okay? So by looking at uh, uh, this multi-view drawing, uh, can you generate a 3D shape in your brain right away? Okay, okay I will show you uh, the, the 3D shape. All right, right. Uh, what, is, what is the basic structure of that, uh, uh, that part? Yeah, it has the it has the uh, circular plate, circular plate, and then and then below, using the center line here, and using the below, there is a cylinder. Something like a cylinder, cylinder is attached. Okay, so something like this. So let's go. Raise this and okay. right, and then there is a through hole uh, in, in in center. So it has a through hole here. So it is it the hole is going uh, down to this uh, object, and it has a it has the keyhole key group key group here. So this is a all key group is uh, putting down to the below. So okay, 
okay, like this, okay. And then what about the other object? Okay, there is a uh, three uh, clutch on the on the circular plate, uh, and the phase of the clutch is uh, something like uh, this. So it is equal equal space, equal space on the on the circular plate, and the clutch shape is uh, something like this. So clutch is something like this. Okay, this is a clutch. Right? And another clutch here. Okay, the other one here. The other one here. So it's on the okay. clutch here. All right. And uh, the last, the remaining object is the what? Ribs. Ribs to support this uh, cylinder from the circular plate. And what is the phase of the plate? It is uh, between clutch and clutches. So the phase is uh, something like uh, here. Okay. So so the uh, okay. And uh, the other one is uh, over. The other one is over here, so maybe it is around, around this. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. The shape is uh, something like this. Of course, uh, it is a little. Uh, uh, not in the center, but anyway, this is the uh, some 3D shape. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, another coupling. So yeah. Uh, so, oh uh, sorry. This is uh, you see the the clutch is all symmetric, right? And and this clutch is assuming that it is move on this this line. This line move uh, aligned here, and and the true shape is uh, projected on the right side view. This one too here. Okay, this is not drawn here, and also the ribs ribs is also uh, aligned to this line, and true shape of the rib is uh, made here and symmetric. Okay, now, all right. This is the best drawing. Please uh, notice that. If you just uh, depend on the CAD tool, so CAD tool just generate automatically the right side view here, then that right side view is ridiculous. Even if it, uh, it satisfy perfect projection, it is ridiculous drawing. Okay, that drawing must not be is submitted to the shop floor, the technicians in the shop floor. Okay, so if you, you are the professional uh, designer, then you must uh, uh, finish your part drawing like this. Never depend on the CAD tool generation, automatic generation. All right. Okay. I uh, I believe that you understand uh, my point. Another example here. So coupling. So it is a coupling, front view and right side view. So this hole is assumed to aligned to here, and that uh, real figure is real figure. Real shape means that the center line. 
from the this center line to this center line, the distance is the true length, true length, right? And symmetric. So this is and and also the ribs, and this is just more ribs, maybe logs. Yeah, I call it rocks over ribs. Maybe anyway, the uh, it is not. There is no hatching, hatching line here, no hatching, clutch two, no hatching, right? This is very important. Anyway, never depend on the automatic automatic generation of CAD tools to generate your side view, please, right? Okay, this is another. Uh, this is another example for aligned view. So. Through the part as as it is aligned or rotated in one view, with its with its aligning center being the axis of the cylinder. So, this is aligned to this is aligned to here, and uh, and is projected. So, true shape, true shape. Also, this is a true shape is uh, uh, made. Uh, in the part drawing, so this was uh, aligned here at this axis, and this is the true true shape of the uh, hole uh, in the log. So yeah, so this is the uh, uh, homework 12. So draw a part drawing, uh, determine dimensions as you wish, and place uh, those dimensions in the drawing. Place uh, those dimen dimensions in your in your in the drawing. And it is symmetric, and one view is drawn as an aligned section view, the other as half view, half view, okay? Because it's, it's a symmetric. So uh, please practice uh, to generate a uh, perfect part drawing, okay? All right. All right, and um, and there are so many parts that have rounds. So the parts that are formed by casting over plastic injection molding has a rounded edge. For example, yeah, please uh, zoom, zoom in. Okay. Now uh, you see. Maybe uh, I'm afraid that you can see it uh, exactly, but this is the. Uh, this has the rounded edge because uh, this part was. Uh, uh, formed by alum, aluminum aluminum die casting, so uh, maybe uh, you are familiar with with the uh, in the street. Uh, there are some uh, some uh, cake are made, uh, the fish cake. I I I uh, I'm afraid that you understand that, but anyway, in the some uh, iron casting, then. Uh, Somebody put the uh, put the uh, powder powder uh, mixed with water and then uh, close it and and uh, boil it and, and and generate. Then you you can finish it, the fish fish like cake. Yeah, it's the same story. The yeah, aluminum casting it has the uh, some uh, some uh, mold. Then uh, the aluminum uh, is melted. Aluminum is inside, and if you cool it down, then you can and put it out. Then you you have the uh, some something like this uh, uh, part like this. So all all uh, edges are ra rounded naturally. Okay, and and also plastic. So yeah, but. But with the only uh, this rounded part, only only uh, this part before machining, then sometimes uh, you cannot use it since uh, this part this part has some own function. So you have to uh, machine it part of it to so that uh, it can uh, it can um, generate a proper function require require required function. So some part is machined. Like this, maybe you see that uh, you see this is a uh, machine. Okay, this is a uh, machine, and this is uh, uh, this is uh, this is just as uh, the shape of part. Okay, all right, all right. 
let's go through the slide. Okay, so so uh, this is slide. This is a part before machining. Okay, part before machining, and to generate a proper function, some part of uh, some part of it has to be machined, like this here. Okay, all right. So this is a machined part. So that your your drawing has to be like this. So this is all shape description, okay, of this part. And and what's more important is that the node one, node one, all corners are rounded as R two unless machined. So it means that uh, this uh, the part, the or original part, the round is should be R two. R2 means the radius should be 2 millimeter. And also 3.5 chamfer uh, after machining. So if, if it, is, it is machined, then uh, the edge becomes very sharp. So it should be chamfered uh, around 3.5, 3, uh, OK? So, so this is a complete complete uh, part drawing, uh, okay. all right? So, uh, and so if you draw the part that has rounds, then uh, you, you, you uh, may use uh, this technique. So draw rounds by the lines that are projected from the virtual intersections of two surfaces. So since this is, for example, this is round, the corner is rounded. Okay, so so the top view, if you try to uh, apply perfect projection, then since this is a rounded corner, so it doesn't have any exact uh, edge. So so if you obey, if you satisfy perfect projection, then no line has to be, no circle has to be drawn. Okay, but from this. From this projection and this projection, without any circle here, then it make uh, confusion to to understand the real 3D shape. So, in that case, a circle has to be uh, included. By by anyway, as the uh, 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 suppose that there is a two in, two plane intersected, then there is a virtual line, virtual edge here. So that edge has to be uh, drawn on the on the drawing. So example, this this circle, the circle is the intersection of the uh, this this plane and top plane, right? There is a virtual intersected line that is drawn as a circle. So with this top view and this front view, make a very good part drawing. Same same story here. So this uh, this container, the edge is rounded inside. So the top view, if we satisfy perfect projection rules, then no no line has to be added. But this and this make a very huge confusion. So the line has to be included like this here, okay? And this line is generated as consuming that the uh, this edge is intersection of the bottom plane and side plane. Okay, virtual intersection of the uh, uh, two planes as an edge, virtual edge has to be uh, drawn. So this is a virtual, and this is a that all all are rounded corners. So the this corner, this corner has to be uh, make empty. So it is not full for complete uh, intersection of three lines. Rem since these three edges are rounded edge, so the intersection remains empty. So that is the another technique uh, for generate good uh, drawing. Okay? All right. So this is example, drawing of the rounds from the virtual intersection of two surfaces. So you maybe you understand the virtual intersection. Intersection is this edge. Edge is here. The virtual intersection of two plane, bottom plane and side plane. 
This is drawn here as a line. Okay, let me. Yeah, this is uh, all rounded edge, so the intersection becomes empty. Yeah, empty. Rounded, round corner and round corner. Okay, all right. Okay. And and also round in in case that a plane is tangent to the cyl uh, cylindrical surface, then draw a small arc, small arc like this arc, small arc, small arc, arc. Small, uh, draw a small arc by, by freehand sketch, and the radius of the arc is the same as that of round. If it is round two, then uh, the radius of the arc uh, may be uh, two millimeter in radius. And has its angle is uh, only 45 degrees approximately. So this is 45 angle arc. That is drawn uh, in the in the in the in the drawing, so that is a technique. And also conventional representation of bolt head, bolt head, keys and pins. That is a bolt head. Even if uh, this front view and this side view of a uh, uh, perfect projection, the uh, the practical uh, view is the 45 degree uh, inclined. So these two combinations are best, and this is the, and this is this is a forty line, uh, forty five uh, inclined groove, but this obey a perfect projection, this portion, but this is a better, this is a bad, so this is a better. Ignore the exact uh, uh, exact projection, exact right, so. So true projection is ignored in this case. And uh, key home is o o always upward. So and this is a not, this is a bad. And the key home is always upward, a key group. And a uh, special feature of spring, the opening is going upward, upward and pin, pin is uh, uh, 45 inclined, 45 degree inclined, okay, pin. Right. And also uh, drawing of a series of identical circles. So there are so many 12 circles, 12 holes uh, in, in equal space. But in this case, you may uh, uh, you may uh, you may uh, the, the real holes are substituted by short uh, thin line and center lines like this. So this is. But um, maybe if you are using CAD tools, then maybe you can uh, you can generate 12 holes automatically. So it's okay, it's okay. But and also this is abbreviation, and first two features are drawn, and the others are remained as the just the cross of two center lines. But but it is it means that it is repeated. Okay, this is also another example. So, all 42 holes are here. So, 42 holes are uh, substituted by the center line only, and also the dimensioning by this way 14 by 12. So, 14 by 12, uh, that is the, uh, some the way of dimensioning uh, for the repeated circles. Okay, so this is my example. Now, what I, um, why I explained, I explained this feature is that since you are a young generation and you, if you are u using CAD tools, you are uh, familiar with the CAD tools. Then, but in in uh, old old generation like me, are generating uh, the drawings like this. So sometimes maybe it is a reverse. Maybe sometimes you, you, you sometime, many times you are going to see the drawing so, something like this, okay? And in the case, if you are just familiar with the CAD tools, then you, you're just assuming that, oh, it has only three features, okay? Really, in, in, in really it is repeated. It has repeated the features real features, but you're just assuming that, oh, it has just three features. Why? Why they don't have any feature here? 
you may you may make a confusion if you if you do not understand the rules like this for the repeated uh, features. Another example is here. So this is also identical features are repeated, but so the you know, old generation they are make during like this. Okay. For for uh, for presenting uh, uh, this three D shape, which we call it rack. The name of this uh, part is rack, rack and pinion rack. And but drawing is uh, like this. So maybe as a young generation, you may uh, think that oh, it just has one single test tooth. But actually, it should have many many uh, teeth here. Okay, you understand me. This is the uh, the real shape, but this is the general way of presenting uh, the uh, gear. So only uh, the part of the gear tooth is uh, drawn, and the other is abbreviated like this. So when you see uh, uh, the drawing like this, do not assume that oh, this is a very special uh, gear. It has only uh, three three tips on the surface. Do not uh, make any confusion with this, okay? It is just a, a repeated feature, all right, okay? All right, and this is another uh, uh, technique that partially enlarged the view. So if the feature is so small, so there is no enough space to place the dimensions on it, then you may just use A and and then uh, in any place in the uh, drawing paper, you may uh, enlarge uh, the uh, part of enlarge the features and and then you can apply a dimension on it. Okay, All right. In case that the view is small or complicated, indicate the portion to enlarge with the letter symbol as follows: letter symbols letter symbols, then draw the enlarged view, enlarged view on the other space on the paper, and add the corresponding letter symbols, A, and scale number besides it, two, uh, two to one, right? So maybe if assuming that the real true length of this edge is 10 millimeter, then since it is a uh, enlarged view, so real real length in your drawing maybe tw uh, 20 millimeters. Okay, what I'm saying that this is a 10 millimeter, but the drawing, real drawing in enlarged view, the real length is 20 millimeter. But in dimensioning, in dimensioning and the the number should be 10, right? Real real number of the sh uh, part. So real length of the Part has to be written here, even if it is enlarged view. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, this has been the uh, the uh, uh, the projection views for better drawings. Right. Uh, there are so many techniques. So I like to uh, I like to uh, remind all these uh, nice techniques to generate uh, better drawings. Do not depend on the automatic generation of the, uh, the 3D tools. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, um, I, I, uh, so far, uh, I explained um, projection views for better drawings. So uh, this auxiliary view is also another way of uh, uh, projection views for better drawings. So. Uh, for example, uh, looking at this figure, the true shape, the, since it has an uh, inclined, inclined plane, what, what, what is the inclined plane? Uh, please remember that I explained it at the second lecture, maybe, inclined plane. Uh, inclined plane is that uh, one, one plane which is inclined, which is perpendicular to one projection plane, okay? So, so for example, uh, this inclined uh, plane is 
perpendicular orthogonal to the uh, uh, projection view for a front view, okay, front view plane. So, in front view, uh, this is, this is, this is a true lens, true lens of this uh, inclined surface, inclined plane. But uh, but this top view does not present its true shape, right? right? Okay. So its true shape drawing is not possible on the conventional projection plane. Okay. Right. So, but but its true true shape drawing is possible on the auxiliary plane, which is parallel to the inclined plane. So if you set auxiliary plane here, which is parallel to uh, this inclined plane, then in, in this way you can you can have a true shape uh, on uh, on the on the projection plane. So so now uh, if you project the true shape on this uh, auxiliary plane, then uh, if you uh, if you pull pull it out. Uh, Based on the front view, then you 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 can generate this multi-view drawing. So in this case, this is a front view, and this is the true shape, true shape on the auxiliary plane, and and then this is the right side view. So comparing uh, this drawing and this drawing, this is better. Why? Because it contains true shape. Of the inclined surface, so this is a better drawing, right? So, and um, so using the concept of auxiliary view, you can generate better drawings. For example, uh, looking at this multi-view drawing, the inclined uh, plane A, there is no true shape on any uh, projection uh, plane. In top view, side view. No uh, true shape. Of course, in front of you, uh, the true length of uh, inclined plane can be seen, but it's not enough. So, so re replacing side view uh, uh, by the auxiliary view, where the true shape is drawn. So this is the, uh, the no. This is not necessary. So, using the uh, on the uh, inclined inclined uh, surface. On the vertically, if you generate vertically here, then the true shape is uh, uh, drawn here. Okay. So, and this is a partial view. Not any. This this area, the the projection view of this part here is not drawn. Only the partial view, partial view. Only the this area is projected onto uh, this true shape. This is a partial concept of partial view, right? And also top view, only this area only uh, projected here. So actually the full, full, uh, actually the full top view is like this, but only the part of it as a partial view is drawn here. So these three, uh, these three views are three views are better drawings comparing to. Uh, uh, this drawing, so okay, and because it has true shape is uh, uh, here on the part on the part drawing. So this is another example. So so this is a, a replaced top view by the auxiliary view. So this is a top view, but this is a replaced like this. So here, the true shape. This is a. Notice that this is a perpendicular. This this line and this uh, line is perpendicular. So true shape is here, and and the right side view only only the as a concept of partial view only the this area is drawn here. So maybe some students maybe ask them why uh, this the rectangular is missing here, but even if uh, that rectangular is missing. <coughs> You just uh, stay on the common sense that so even if there is no uh, rectangular box here, this multi-view uh, drawing can uh, using only these three views 
uh, you can imagine the three D shape perfectly. So, so don't worry about it. Okay, all right. So comparing to uh, this, there is no true shape anywhere in top view or side view. So it is not rec it is not good. It is not good uh, path drawing. So this is the better. Please understand that. So uh, um, many times I uh, emphasize that that the automatic generation of 3D shape by using CAD tools may generate uh, the shape like this. So this is not good part drawing. Please understand that. So you have to correct this into uh, this drawing. Okay, right? Always uh, remember that the the person who are using your drawing is at the shop floor, technicians. They are understanding the drawing like this, not this. So, okay, it, 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 it should be the fluent, you, you, you should be the fluent uh, language speaker, right? So, please understand that. All right, Look, looking at this part drawing. It, this is a practical part drawing which I generated when I executed the uh, project of uh, developing innovative machine tools, then this is the part of that innovative machine tool. So, of course, uh, um, maybe you are not familiar with this surface roughness symbol, and also uh, you are not familiar with the symbols for geometric tolerance. Also, uh, maybe uh, the uh, pi AT and H7, this is uh, the symbol for the uh, dimensional uh, tolerance, which, which I will going to deal with at next next lecture, so don't worry about it. This is called the geometric tolerance. Yeah. So don't worry. Um, what I like to uh, ask you to uh, see is that this part, this drawing, this is the uh, auxiliary view, the slot, the real shape of the slot, slot is seen here. So this is the slot. So this is a very nice um, part drawing where the auxiliary view is applied. Okay. All right. <coughs> so in many, in when I, uh, <coughs> in the final exam, um, I, um, I uh, ask a problem uh, to my students in, in the final exam to generate pictorial drawing of this part, pictorial drawing of this part, looking at this part drawing. Can you can you do that? Uh, I ask you to uh, uh, to practice to generate a pictorial drawing right away. Okay, right. In some cases, uh, the auxiliary review that shows a true shape has to be drawn first. So then, uh, <coughs> then in, in, in generating uh, the, the part drawing which contains uh, auxiliary view, sometimes, uh, many times, the true shape has to be drawn first. So the front view uh, is finished. Then the information uh, uh, of the uh, mm, with this information at, at this inclined direction has to be moved to the area of auxiliary view. So the width of the information is uh, here. The, the length of this part and the position of this point from this end, position, this position, this position. The information and in the width of the information in inclined direction has to be moved using the parallel line, parallel auxiliary line, to this area of uh, uh, here. Okay, and then so the the width of information parallel lines here. Okay, and now the information at uh, A, B, C, D. This is the information of what? Information of depth, okay, depth. This is information of the depth because this is the face of the uh, 
front face, and this is the uh, what? This is the direction of depth. So A, B, C, D. The A, A, B, C, D. This information is the depth information. That is, okay. So in this sense, now, if you if you try to uh, finish uh, the right side view, right side view, then. Uh, then uh, the true shape is uh, finished using the uh, uh, with this information in inclined direction, this, and also depth information. Then at the cross point, using cross point, you finish the true shape. And then the, for the right side view, you move the height information from the front view, like this, okay, height information. So parallel line, this parallel line contains the height information. Now, now you need the you need the this direction. The information in this this is depth information A B C D, right? Depth information. Where you where you can get the depth information from the uh, from the uh, from the auxiliary view, the true shape A B C D. So you move this information A B C D from the through shape of through shape in the auxiliary view, so A, B, C, D. So you have many vertical parallel lines, and uh, this parallel line, this parallel line contains height information. So then you have a cross point, and using the cross point, you you can finish uh, the right side view. <coughs> of course, you need the practice. So please, uh, please uh, from these two multi two multi views, please uh, practice by yourself to finish the uh, uh, the uh, proper right side view. Please practice. <coughs> and another case to show the auxiliary view uh, is uh, here. So the uh, the front view can be finished using uh, the dimension information from the 3D object and then uh, the height information uh, is moved from the front view using parallel line okay height information and and depth information depth information from the uh, 3D uh, 3D uh, 3D object 3D shape depth information then using the cross point, you, you can finish the uh, partial view of the right side view, partial view. Then another one is a true shape here, true shape here. So this is a perpendicular, perpendicular. This is a perpendicular, right? Perpendicular of, from this line. Oh, sorry, this line, perpendicular. Okay. So, so, uh, to finish this true shape, uh, the information, information maybe we call it uh, something like uh, width information or height information, maybe along this uh, direct, along this line. That information is moved as a parallel line, parallel line from here to here. Okay, and then, and then depth information. This is a depth information. Depth information. X X is a depth depth information can be obtained from the uh, 3D object information and, and then uh, from the cross point of the depth information and, and with this information incline, and inclined line, you can generate the true shape. Now, you have to finish uh, the uh, top view, top view, right? So top view, the width this information uh, is uh, from, the, uh, from the front uh, view. Okay, as, uh, using the parallel line, so uh, with this information moved to the upward. Okay, with this, and now what? Now uh, this this line is the depth information. So X is the depth information. So where you can get it from from this from this true shape, the depth information is moved here. So you may generate a parallel line for indicating depth information. Also, part of it, you can generate it from the right side view. But in classical way, it's what? 
you use the 45 auxiliary line and you, you move the depth, uh, depth information and if, if it um, crosses the, the 45 auxiliary line, then the direction is uh, changed. So by this way, by this way, you move the uh, uh, depth information to the, this area. So now you can you have many parallel lines indicating depth information, and also also these parallel lines indicate uh, width information. Then uh, using the cross point cross points of two parallel lines, you can generate a top view. So please uh, practice that. Okay, please practice. So this is another practice of. Uh, 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 generating auxiliary view. So this is a draw part drawing of the following part. You can choose dimensions as you as you wish. All through holes. So all through hole are through this is a through hole, so holes are through. Uh, refer to the view location B. So in your paper maybe A4 you can make it in the vertical and <coughs> A4 size uh, drawing paper on the vertical lead. And you may try to locate to each views like this, and uh, and through the top view first. The top view, maybe you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, draw top view right away, and draw two auxiliary view. So uh, for the true shape of uh, the side, this side view, this side shape, side shape is here. So it's only partial view, partial view. Only, only this area, only this area are here, true shape is here. And this is also another true shape for this, this area only, this area only. Okay, this partial view, partial view here. So maybe you can, uh, you can finish uh, the uh, uh, top view, true shape, and true shape, and then, Front view. You have to finish the front view. From all information, uh, from uh, you can you can get all information from uh, these three, these three. So front view the uh, maybe the with this information from the top view with this information or using parallel lines. Okay. Then what about height information? Height information you can you can get it from this true shape. You can get it the uh, height information, height information. Then using cross points, you can generate a perfect uh, partial view. A part of, part of drawing, a perfect part of drawing, all right? And uh, uh, no, no dimensioning, no dimensioning, okay? all right? Oh, okay, um, and then uh, this is the uh, last uh, slide of uh, this, this lecture. Homework, this homework is uh, that uh, is not uh, the homework for generating any part of drawing. It is the homework to manufacture the real part based on this part of drawing. Okay? So make two sets, two sets of each part. So these two pieces and these two pieces, which satisfies the following drawing, respectively. So, and you see, this is a whole plate. So uh, the the plate like this plate, the thickness is a three millimeter, P3. Thickness is a three three millimeter. This is a through hole, two through hole. Okay, it's a we call it whole plate. So a plate which has two through holes. And this is the uh, the plate, and this is a pin. Pin is added using any bond bond by ad adhesive, okay? Yes, bonded two pins, bonded on the plate, two pins bonded on the plate. Okay, you understand me? Now. On the bottoms of every part, write your ID and name, and then bind them by using a rubber band. But uh, since, uh, uh, if, uh, yeah, actually, uh, mm, 
actually uh, I assuming that you are learning my lecture with many students together so if you uh, if you uh, if you make uh, this part then in next lecture I will ask that uh, I will collect all parts and then uh, randomly try to assemble the pin plate and and whole plate okay so that's what I'm going to do but since if you have studied this lecture by yourself then I ask that uh, you try to make uh, one set in some place and, and next day make another another second set in another place and at each each place you may use different tools different tools okay but you but any cases you have to observe uh, the part drawing satisfy this part drawing which means that you may uh, you may uh, notice that the general tolerance here so even if it is 120 uh, the tolerance should be 120 plus minus 2 so since 1 120 plus minus 2 millimeter is a very very low for tolerance so you may satisfy it even if you are using knife knife and ruler by your hand by your hand scale you can satisfy this tolerance very very enoughly and and you see uh, some symbols here symbols here is uh, actually the uh, symbol for uh, surface roughness but I will explain it later this time you just uh, understand that uh, if you apply this symbol then this part this part has to be cut by knife right so leave as its original material surface if it is not indicated as well so if it is not indicated like this then the other surface is just remains as its original surface material surface so for example the surface on, on the top top surface or, or this part top it is surface of here and surface of here surface of here and surface of here and, and surface of bottom bottom side all remains as, as its original uh, material uh, surface the material is, uh, is a foam board a foam board the foam board is, uh, is some the students in architect in architect or stu students in design department they use they are using uh, uh, this uh, foam board for uh, making uh, some prototype which we uh, represent their uh, idea so the so foam board is a uh, uh, very it is very uh, smooth uh, material which can which you can cut it by knife so and uh, you please uh, notice that this is general uh, tolerance is applied but this is uh, some uh, tighter, uh, tighter, not more really tight, but actually 30, 0 to plus 1.0, 0, 1.0 uh, tolerance is applied. So it means that uh, this through hole, the diameter should be within 30.0 to 31. Okay, if it is uh, if, if if it is larger than 31 or or smaller than 30.0 then uh, it is uh, it cannot be passed and so your score is zero okay even if you submit it if, if it, it does not obey any uh, observe any uh, any uh, part drawing indicate indi any indication in part drawing then your work uh, the score is zero not any okay so please please uh, uh, please satisfy all indication of part drawing especially the indication t3 the material thickness is a three millimeter but in three millimeter the general tolerance is since it is less than 16 so plus minus 0.7 tolerance is applied so it should be 
3 millimeter plus minus 0.7. So if you if you on the on the store on the on the store if you buy the foam board whose stand whose whose thickness is 5 millimeter rather than 3 millimeter, then your work will the score of your work will be zero failure. Okay. So um, so please. Uh, Please understand that if you generate a part drawing, then the all indication has to be satisfied. Okay, that's very important. All right. Okay, this is the uh, homework for the next lecture. So please uh, make it and bring it uh, with you to the next lecture. Okay. All right. This has been the today lecture. Thank you so much. Bye.